So the man that we're gonna be fishing with today is actually one of the most legendary individuals on planet, literally he is, on planet Earth. So he's, I think he's in four different Hall of Fames and that's Fishing Hall of Fames. His name is Roland Martin, he's 84 years old, I think he's 84, 83. He does do some guiding here in Florida. I've known him for about four or five-ish years now and he's a really, really awesome guy. He's just as bubbly as you would expect in person as he is on camera. He's the exact same person. So I thought it was really important for me to actually share this with you guys before actually hopping this video just for anybody who doesn't know who this gentleman is. How you doing? Good, oh man. It's out here. <laughs> Good to see you. Yes, sir. Man, I saw you the other day. I didn't know this was your truck. Oh, so this is it for the day, huh? Yeah. It, yeah. Uh, Good. I'll tell you what, they're, they should be biting because they were really biting it yesterday. And uh, this little setup, kind of like this, I'm going to put, put a shark tooth tail on there. It's a little. That's that my, my little oh, setup. A little weighted fluke. Well, uh -huh. just real lightweight. Real light. The, like the wind it. was blowing yesterday, and actually, you don't really need a weight. And I like that hook there a little better than the EWG. I was using the EWG yesterday, it, but that comes through a little bit. Was it getting hung up? No. No, the EWG still. was getting hung up. A little bit more, yeah. but that little hook is kind of better, you know? I like it. Cool. I'll grab my car. I only got a couple rods and uh box. Well, you guys couldn't tell. We're going to be here today with the one and only Roland Martin. I don't need all these rods, I don't think. I'll find a couple, I guess. I'll bring this one just cause should have brought a spinner rod i guess oh traveling and living out of this truck right now is just it is nasty you know it's crazy i've never done any bass fishing out of a uh an airboat before the only time i was in airboat was with your son i like it <laughs> i like it you guys are also probably wondering why there's a random michelob light like thing in the back of my truck i went to a uh I, I like antique shop, but I went to an antique mall. That's not really an antique. It's from 2002. I guess it's an antique, but look at this thing I found too. Just trying to find random stuff for the garage. It's pretty cool, huh? And if anybody's looking for a 112 36 volt Ultrax, I got this one back here and it is for sale. Yeah, a couple thousand bucks shipped to you. The shaft is brand new. I actually did break the shaft. Everything else is fine. It's literally like two months old max. It's, there's nothing wrong with it. I just have a new one getting installed onto my boat and this one's just hanging out back here. If anybody's wanting this, send me an email at uh, workforlunkers at gmail.com. Just makes it easy. Just workforlunkers at gmail.com. I'll check it. I don't know. This uh, I have the, the other one that's on the boat. It's already sold. And that one's an 80 thrust. This one's a 112. 2,000 bucks and it's yours. I think these things sell for $3,600 new. It's uh, literally brand new at this point. Brand new shaft on it. Just hanging out back here. It's going to go back to Texas B and I can ship it off to you. I'm going to grab this. If you guys don't have one of these tackle toters and you guys are like fishing as a co-angler or just want to store your stuff, you're crazy. You need to get one of these. Do you think it's feasible to get a, uh, like a normal boat in here, like an aluminum boat or anything? Yeah, and, 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 and there's one aluminum boat in here. It's so hard, it's so inaccessible. There's what, two or three cars there? Yeah. There's 130 cars at the headwater terminal. Yeah, I, so I went there the other day. It's full, wasn't it? It was jam-packed but i mean i caught like a, like 22 pounders that was it oh, yeah. but i was i was talking to your i was talking to scott and i was like man what are these big ones and he's like oh you just got to keep going and you randomly just run into one have you been catching any giants out there yeah we caught an eight yesterday and a seven and a couple of five you know, i mean that's a great day yeah we yeah we caught pretty good we caught some of them on fluke about half of them on shiner but, but there'll be some good lure fish actually this is a better lure leg than it's a really good lure. But no, how come no one fishes this one with a boat? It's, it's so hard to get to. You'll see it's so shallow. and they're, they're, Right now the water's up about a foot, so you can get down there some, but they're, 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 nobody wants to take a bass boat in here. Really? It's just really treacherous. You'll see. Really? It's, okay. It, oh, that's good. Kind of, It'll be kind of cool. Okay. So are you, you're guiding, though, right now? Yeah, I'm just guiding. How do uh, people get in contact with you? Just hey. through my website and through Judy and through my, my wife. What, what's, what's your website? Uh, well, fishingwithrollermartin.com. Fishing with Roller Martin. So anybody can go to fishingwithrollermartin.com 
and then, then my wife Judy books it all. She books it all. But they have to go basically get all the information on fishing with Roland Martin .com. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't want people calling your cell phone a whole bunch. I wanted to know how you wanted me to. <laughs> <laughs> what happened here? Oh, shit. I hit a. The guy turned. <laughs> uh, that's a long story. Is it? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh. oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, even after doing it all this long, he still makes the same mistakes I do. I got it. I'll get it. <laughs> there you go. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Good. this is the water's up about a foot and a half yeah and this is only a couple feet deep so there are some bass that have migrated into this shallow water but basically this whole upper end for like three or four or five thousand acres is just pretty shallow and it's it holds some fish they do migrate up in, in the deep water but when the water's up like this there's some fish in here but when the water goes down they all have to go south they all have to get down to the south end of it and that's kind of the best part to fish so we're going to just head down i say it's five or six miles down down the canal we've got to go through a lot of logs and a bunch of hyacinths and it's really hard <laughs> to get a bass boat or any really? kind of boat in here so anyway we'll get down there <clears throat> wow this is like really shallow how'd you find out about this place well, JT Kenny, oh, okay. JT, he's a, he's a guy on a, a major league fishing deal. Yeah. He fishes it a lot, and it's kind of his secret spot. Does he fish it in a boat or an airboat? Well, he fishes it when the water's high, and he takes his bass boat in here, and he knows how to run. He knows where the stumps are in this airboat trail. He can run this airboat trail with his engine jacked up high. He knows where the stumps are. So that main trail, you can't run that main trail with a boat? You can. You got, yeah. But we get down here a little farther and you'll see it gets all shallow and stumpy and it's really bad. I caught a, uh, I caught a 10 a couple days ago. Yeah, uh, on a, in a, I caught a 10 and one at eight just on the same day um, up in Orange. You ever fish there? What's that? Orange Lake? Yeah, yeah. Up, up by Gainesville? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've yeah. caught some Yeah, it's a really weird lake. Did you, were you shiner fishing? No. Oh. no. I caught it on a bed. Really? What do you think, weightless or pegged with a small weight? Yeah, is Orange Lake full of hydrilla this year? It's insane. F***ing crazy. A lot of hydrilla. It's like almost too much where it's like, I don't even know what to do. It's just stacked everywhere. But when I caught there, it was good hydro. It's got. It a while, it didn't have hydro. No, it's got a. It's got almost too much. So I went there, fished it for two days, caught some big fish, and I said, "I'm out of this." I'm gonna go south. This is kind of where I like the most. To be honest with you, man, I've been throwing nothing but like seven, six heavy rods and seven, eight, and seven, elevens. I just picked up this freaking what is this seven footer? It feels like a damn. Huh. Like well, nothing. <laughs> yeah, it just feels. Stick, yeah. yeah, this feels really light now. Yeah, they're not here, so I'm gonna, you want to get out? I'm gonna, I'm gonna just drift down. What do you think? Think they'll eat this color? Well, I'm gonna drift a little bit in here. It's just a tad. No, I so said you think they'll eat this color? Oh, I think so. Do you punch very much anymore? Yeah. Sometimes. You know, the problem with punching is that not many people can do it. Yeah. So, I, so I, I get, I get some guys. That's I said, true. "Do you like to punch? You know, like to punch?" Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We know how to do it. Well, I get them in those hyacinths, and they, and they, they don't get them out. Mm -hmm. And I finally say, you know, I'll, I'll get one or two out, and then all of a sudden they won't get anything, and they're kind of pissed off. And so I just finally, half the time, give up. But if they're a good puncher, I mean, we could. I, I, I got all the stuff to punch. With. Yeah, and then you also got to worry about ounce and a half weight flying back at you as well. Yeah. Yeah, your son actually is the one who taught me how to punch. Yeah. 
No, 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 not even kidding. Yeah. He taught me literally everything about Florida fishing. He's pretty much taught me. Yeah, he's pretty good at Florida. I don't really know why he's so good in Florida. <laughs> okay, man. There's one. Get one. Hey. Yep. Not a giant, but he was, my God, he must have inhaled that thing because he was swimming with it forever. <laughs> oh, no. There we go. Oh, yeah, man. He was swimming it forever. He was taking it out, wasn't he? Yeah. Actually, not that bad. Oh, and that's that new kind of. That's a different color fluke. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You never seen that color? No. Pro no, no. blue red. Wow. It's a different color. Two yonder. Telling you. What pound test line is that? Thick. <laughs> That's probably like 50. Uh, yeah. Yeah. This is 50. I got 30 on this. Are you worried? But I think, you know, I don't know. 30 is a little light, but I got some 50. I, all the other rods are six. It's the only one with 50 on it. Just because I wanted to be able to cast it far. Oh. Well, the other one's heavier? My other braid? Oh, yeah. I got 65 pound braid on everything else. Yeah. Yeah. Man, he ate that thing and was swimming for a million miles. I don't know. Bass are so weird. Why did he eat it and just keep swimming like way out there? You know, why didn't he just suck it in and just sit there? I wonder if you, do you think it's just because they like attack it and just keep going? He was moving the whole time, huh? Oh, yeah. What in the world? Really? Yeah, same same spot as that last one. That's weird. Way out there. Huh, <laughs> tell my tail. You know what's cool about that, that it was fishing that pop gas ray, though? Yeah. Was you flip in there and you'd see the reeds go, you know, when they shake and you have big bass come through, it's about to eat. God, I love that shit. Oh, yeah. You know what when I mean? Flip it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're like, oh, shit. I love that. Where's the females at? Well, that's funny. A month ago, I had a guy, he'd never caught a five pound bass. And so we came in here, it was real windy and stormy. And uh, I said, we can only fish, a big cloud was coming. And he could see it, it was all raining. The, the radar said it was gonna be a terrible thunderstorm. Mm -hmm. could hear the thunder, thunder lightning. And it was right over in there and he threw over and he finally caught, he caught one almost eight pounds. It was seven and three quarters on a, on a chatterbait. Just uh -huh. as the wind, just as it picked up. Oh. Oh, that's got to be probably the the best part about taking people fishing, though. Yeah, today was supposed to be pretty nasty weather, and then Florida did Florida things and decided it wanted to be okay. I tell you what, you guys have a lot more private, like, prop planes flying around yeah. in Florida than any other state I've been in. <laughs> I noticed that yesterday. There was literally probably one every five to ten minutes fly overhead. I also could be by an airport and a pop guy, I wouldn't have known, but yeah. I know it works in Texas. Oh, I just got hammered. You got hit? I got absolutely... Oh, my God. He got it again. Oh, my God. Did you see that? I saw it. That was weird. I got doink. Then he missed it the second time, whatever that was. I don't know if I've ever seen a pad field this big, though. This might be the largest pad field I've ever seen. I mean, it's huge. Like, it's... How many? I guess they're back in there too, you know, but and it's all about the same depth. But how are we gonna find them in there? <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't think that's that's crazy. I wonder what it looks like being a fish underneath that many pads. You know what I mean? It's gonna be kind of crazy looking. You talk to the old TV guys very much? Uh -uh. Not really. You mean dance with those guys? Yeah. You talk yeah, to them very I much? See, I see dance all the time. Yeah. Well, and some, but Jimmy and I are close together. All right. You know, he, we, we yeah, he's just no stuff. yeah. He's just north of me. Was he? Yeah. Jimmy, Jimmy is. Lake. Does he? Oh God! If you can get in on that lake, go the hell away. Hey, he talks to Dan and Jimmy a ton. Yeah, Dan is pretty good. He's got a lake, and I've never been on his lake, but uh, I know he's got he's got a lake too. But Jimmy's lake is phenomenally good. I just finished another lake in Oklahoma. That's what I do: is I build them and sell them. And uh, my first one was like 23 acres but it was like 22 foot deep wow. and it had man those those f1s when you throw them in there holy toledo they good, huh? holy shit, they get big quick but yeah that's, there's quite a bit of money to be made just to buy land that you can build a lake on in oklahoma and just build it and sell it yeah, yeah. Oof, lots of money
There was a guy in Alabama that did that, a friend of Ray Scott's. Mm -hmm. And he'd buy a farm, just the whole 300 acre farm or something. And he'd, he'd make it into, you know, nothing but food plots for deer. Yep. And a yep. big lake, about 100 acres, and then it triple his money. You know? Yep, it's <laughs> pretty crazy. That's what I've been doing the last few years on the side, yeah. I bought 200 acres, and then I ended up buying 800 acres that were attached to it, and then I pieced it all off and built a lake. And then I just bought 320. It's kind of a kind of a fun project, but hey, it's expensive. I don't know what land in Florida goes for. Right? How much does land in Florida go for, like in this area? You, you have a hard time finding them for much less than three or four thousand. Okay. Real hard. That's not too bad. A lot of it's more than that, six or eight or ten. Is it? How about Texas? Uh, Texas is really expensive, like Five. way more than that. Really? Yeah, like where I just bought at, which is on the north end of the north of Frisco, it was um, when I had purchased it was 175 an acre. Now it's 220. Oh, I don't think so. It's swimming quick. My God, look at that thing swim. I mean, it's swimming right at us. Oh, now the same size. Man, oh geez, lots of males, huh? Oh, he just pissed all over me. Oh. He's pissing everywhere. All right, so. Were you really fast? Nah, just kind of dragging it. Just dragging it? Just dragging it. Oh my god! Get away. Huh? I don't know. Big. He ate it right when it hit the water. About the same size as the last one. Man, I mean, right when it hit the water, he ate it. It's literally. It is. I mean, no time to do anything. He smoked it. Just hit the water, boom. Hit the water. <laughs> it didn't have a chance to do anything else. So what is that? That's like, what, four now? I just caught one here a second ago that was roughly about the same size. I kind of want to throw this big, this big son of a gun. Oh, the big one? Yeah, the seven, seven inch one. I don't know if I got a hook that big though. Five yeah, that's what I got on right now. I don't know if a five, I mean, that's a big, that's a big bait. Oh my God. Oh. You think so? I have no destroyed the dam. Look at that. Yeah. Dang it. I've got a I've got a I've got a pretty cool aluminum boat that I've been running. I wanna see, I wonder if I can get it back in this area. It's a gator tracks. Oh my. No. Nope. Damn thing came up and obviously smoked it though again. That's quite healthy actually. We'll probably start recording. Look at that. Yeah, Rob, quite, quite, quite healthy. Damn dude, they're just eating this fluke. I think I think we might catch a giant back in here. As soon as it hit the water, wasn't it? I was like tw -tw -tw through the uh, the pads, and it came up and just waked on it. Boy, that loose reel! I don't know what kind of reel. What kind of reel you use? This one? This one. Oh, this one's just a uh, Shimano. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm oh, digging. No. Oh. Oh, there's one. Oh. God, it came back. Oh, my God, he came back and hit it again. Must be small, huh? He's got it. Yep. See? You think, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Do you think you'd use these baits on your uh, 
guide trips at all? Good, sure, absolutely. Yeah. You want me to send you a whole case of them? I could. Okay. Yeah. Will you uh, text what, what? text me your text me your address and I'll okay. send I'll have them send down like a big case of just oh, pro blue red five inch oh, ones for you. That's perfect. They hit these colors. Yeah, they like this color. I don't know. I didn't even I don't even know what it's supposed to represent other than a shad, I guess, but yeah. pro blue red. Wow. Yeah, I'll probably get about three fish out of each one of these. Really? That's about it. This is a real, this is a new real company. Oh, really? Huh. Yeah, it's all aluminum. Oh, really? Yeah, there's no, huh. even the internals are all aluminum on it. Really? Would it wouldn't that wear out? I don't know. Couldn't tell you. No, not the gears and stuff for aluminum? Yeah, everything. The whole thing is machined. Huh. I guess they make the hard aluminum, they would maybe not do. No, I don't know. 2060, the 2060 series aluminums are. 60, no, was it 60, 60? 20, 60. I don't know, it's something that's 60. What's this, what's this reel made out of? I don't know what it's made out of, what do you think? Oh, plastic looks like. like. Plastic, huh? Is it a sh reel? It's a sh reel. It's a hundred, he's selling it for a little over a hundred dollars, but it's it's really about a 75, I don't know. How much are airboats anyway? Like how much is this airboat? Oh, this yeah, I'm I got it as steel. I got it for uh, twenty thousand, and I put about another five in it. So it's worth about two. Wow! Why'd you get it for so cheap? Yeah, the guy. <laughs> the guy bought it. He didn't know how to run it. He kept wrecking it. Wife just said, "Listen, you got to get rid of it." So, <laughs> he, he had it. He had it on for sale for forty thousand. He wanted to sell it for forty, and I got him all the way down. What it was, I'd offered him, I thought about 30, I was going to buy it for 30, and I was just kind of talking, and, I, and before I could say 30, I said, I was going to tell him 30, but I only had 17,000 in cash, so I said to him, I said, I only have 17,000 in cash right now, and I started to say, but I could I could come up with some more money and make it buy a $30,000 deal out of it, but, but before I could say that, he said, um, he says, no, I'm not going to sell it for 17000 He says, he says, how about twenty? dollars I said, oh, <laughs> I saved $10,000. <laughs> 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 what do you think Scott will do after tournaments? You think he'll do good? No, you think, what do you think he'll do after he's done with them? Oh, I don't know. Uh, he's going he's to probably want to fish for a long time. When was the last time you fished a tournament? I fished a couple little ones, uh -huh. like uh, they had a Major League Fishing Special uh, edition with it was it was Edwin Evers and Kevin Van Dam and uh, Johnny Morris and Jimmy and I and a whole bunch of kind of celebrity deals. And uh, we thought we won. I was my partner with Timmy Horton, and what happened was we counted one fish twice. <laughs> we didn't know it. The guy in the back of the boat counted it twice. The, 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 <laughs> That's funny. The guy, the judge guy. Yeah. Somehow really, he entered it twice. Well, by the time they checked all the footage, they saw that it was just once that, that we caught it. And it was, so we lost, instead of winning by a half a pound, we lost by a half a pound. We came in second. Bacon? Oh, that's a good one. Is it good? Probably what, three? Maybe. No, he shrunk when he got to the boat. Yeah. He shrunk a lot when he got to the boat. <laughs> hey, well, Rob, I just switched to a chatterbait. Caught a little, little one. You know, we've had a real struggle with this. We need a big one. We just can't seem to get a big one. And yet, in the background over there, folks, there's a, that's Captain Mike Arnoldy. And yesterday he had a nine pounder, another big one, about eight pounds. And then he said, he, how many over... He said seven. He, seven, seven over ten. Seven over ten in the last couple weeks. So we're in a good area, and we can catch a big fish. We just haven't haven't connected. Rob's caught a bunch of little ones, and so have I. But they got nothing over three pounds. I have. I don't even know what to do with myself right now. Do I flip? What do you think? We'll see if they'll eat a bandito bug down there in the base of this stuff. 
You ever use this bait? What? Bandito bug? Oh. You ever use that bait? Oh, the bonita bug? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. For, for, for pitching and flipping? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, 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 yeah. That one. I didn't know what you were coming. Uh, yeah, that's that's a really. Now, did Scott design that? Yeah. Okay, that's what I thought. That's what he said. Yeah, that's his. Yeah. It seems to be. You know what I like about it? It has good plastic and it stays on the hook pretty good. Yeah, a lot of. Yeah, a lot of people complain about it being too soft, and I'm like, oh. He's on the hook pretty good, I think. Yeah, it, Scott did a good job with this bait. I like it, and it, it's, it stays on the hook well. Yeah. You ever remember, you remember that one bait you, you had back in the day, the helicopter lure? Yeah. Do you still have any of those? No, not really. What I did, though, I did make a little single cavity mold, and I made one with a little bit bigger shaft. And it had a little, little bit bigger blades, and it weighed about half again as much, mm -hmm. a little bit bigger. And I could put a bigger hook in it, a bigger swivel, and throw it really good on casting back. And and I got to using it some, but I only could make one at a time. It was like a big deal, so I'd make ten of them and take a couple hours, you know, come up. So I just kind of quit doing it. But it had a. Uh, it's pretty good. I don't know. Ah. Okay, I'm getting bit pretty good flipping. That's 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 what two quick bites flipping. Yeah. Caught one small one. That one could have been better. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Well, that makes me happy. I could flip all day until my arms hurt, until they fall off. Lucky for us, I have uh, endless amounts of bandito bugs. <laughs> So, That's a good flipping bug. I've got I've got plenty of them. I love them. Really love Do you use them. these things a lot? I I I can always use flipping bonita bugs. Up you need some? Yeah. I, you want me to send you? We need yeah. text. Text if you text me your address. Um, I'll make sure I'll have a whole bunch, so you won't have to worry about buying this stuff. I can I can handle those. Things. They are great. Yeah. I'll just send you black and blue. Pro I'll just send you a whole bunch of Florida shit. Sound good? Yeah, I'll give you as much. I don't, it don't matter to me. I'll make sure you have plenty. There's some big ones in here. Yeah. We can blow through all these bandito bugs. I'm fine with that. One of these darts. Do I have any more? Do you want some? Have them bring them. No, he's bringing some, yes. Yeah, some of the five inch darts that we're using. I'm actually with Roland today. Pro, oh. pro blue red. Yeah, pro blue red. I got another bag up there too. Uh, but that's it. That's what I would bring. Uh, maybe some black and blue blazing worms if you can bring an extra set of those. I'm looking down right now. I don't have a load. I've actually got uh, got the new. Yeah, I got the I got the XL ones, but I need a bigger hook. I need like a seven odd hook. Yeah, if you don't mind bringing a couple extra of those, I got everything else, weights and everything else. You don't need that. So. Ten four. All right. Well, I'll call you here later on when I'm driving. Sounds good, buddy. Thank you. Bye. Bye. -bye. I don't know if this makes a difference, but see, there's a ditch right through here. It's an old, an old ditch, and that might have some a little deeper water. Or something. Think so? It might be something to fish going this way. Okay. You know? I think there's plenty of fish in here. You, you know. See, there's a good place to flip, and all there's a good place to. You know, I don't know. I like it. I like it. Fish flip and flip and flip and flip. That's all I. I don't mind doing. 65 pound braid, heavy rod, and flip, flip, flip. Tell you what, though, I kind of feel like a little. My wrist is killing me really? from flipping those one and a half ounce weights on this big rod all day. You ever wonder how many times you f you flip in like a normal, you know what I mean, like in the normal day? Because your body's only got so many heartbeats. I wonder how many flips your wrist has. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's kind of a good point, right? You only have so many heartbeats. There's people that use their wrist more than other people. <laughs> yeah, lonely guys. Lonely, lonely guys. <laughs> uh, this is funny. Here's a question. I had, I was on, uh, where was I at? I was on Headwaters and I had a, um, an alligator start making this weird grunt noise. What was that from? What's that for? Just a warning? Yeah, yeah. I don't know what you're doing. They also bellow. 
It was like deep. It was like, yeah, who was that you'll for? Hear, you'll hear them right now. You'll probably hear them today. They do that. Is it a mating thing or was he just yeah, warning it's a me? Thing it's a mating? Okay. The bull, that's the bull alligator. Okay. I was watching him. His neck was like expanding and then going in. The water will, will just vibrate off the, off his body. You know, just it, it, it's so such a deep. Damn. I thought it was either, I thought it was mating or a warning call. Yeah, that's what it sounded like. I was like, what the hell? Oh my god. They are they're eating this. This is they're eating this. This could be kind of fun. We catch a giant like this, huh? Yeah. Yeah, they're eating it. I think we just need what size weight do you have? Three eighths. Oh, three, three eighths, yeah. I might try that. Yeah. You want me you want me to get you some out? I'm gonna I'm gonna rig one up. I'm gonna go ahead and rig rig a deal up. I was kinda shocked. Yeah. I mean we flipped I think we probably only flipped like ten different ones and caught four fish. I don't know. Okay, I like that. I like those odds. What's your most popular lure? Um, bandito bug will probably be around until I die. Yeah. I think it's one of those. You know, it's kind of like a senko. You know, okay. I don't think it's gonna ever go away. Um, it's it's up there. Yeah, I would say the bandito bug probably is the most popular bait. Now, color wise, it's kind of weird, but. Of course, green pumpkin, but Alabama crawl. Alabama crawl is a really big selling bait. I don't really, of course, black and blue, but Alabama is one of the ones that kind of shocked me a little bit. Do you use that very much, or? Yeah, it's kind of kind of a weird little statistic, but yeah, yeah, I catch about two or three fish per one or so, but. We have actually made them a little more stiff, a little harder. Oh, that's good. Yeah, they're a little harder. Took out a little bit of salt in them yeah. to make them last longer. And I don't know, like, I'm not going to give you some bullshit percentage. I have no idea what the percentage of strength is, increases. I have no idea, but I know they're more durable. You ever been to Japan? Yes. I'm going there and... The there. Did you? <laughs> and we actually won the tournament. Yeah. Well, was it a lot of fun or what? Yeah. Did you like Japan? Like uh, Kawaguchi. Uh, Kawaguchi, huh? I'm going there in April. Okay, yeah, April. Kawaguchi was pretty good. For bass fishing? Yeah, go down. I was told that they, now they've deemed bass as being a, uh, of course. Invasive species, they want everybody to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They make them keep them all. And you keep, there's no catch and release anymore. Oh, wow. And so everybody that, that fishes has to keep the bass. And that's fucking it up. Oh, who was that? Gator? When were you put in the Hall of Fame? What's that? You were put in the Hall of Fame, weren't you? Yeah. Yeah, what, when was that? I was the first freshwater guy in the IGFA Hall of Fame. And then <laughs> I went into uh, the Bass Machine Hall of Fame. I don't know. I've been in that one. And I've been the one in Hayward, also the, the uh, other Hall of Fame. Uh, the one in Hayward, Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. There's got to be one inside this hunk of pads. Mm -hmm. I ain't got no. Yep, there he is. Might be good too. Oh yeah, it's a mudfish, I think. I think it is. It's a good one. I no, I, th I said I think it's a mudfish. Is it? I think so. Look at it. Oh no, it's a bass. It's a long bass. Oh, there we go. <laughs> When I saw it jump first, I said, God bless, it's a mudfish. Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. Good. That's kind of random. Yeah, I just said, hey, there's probably going to be one back in there. He called it. He said, there's going to be one of that clump. Yeah, he was in there. Damn, right? he was in there. God. Okay. Well, hey, they've, they've gotten bigger as we got back in here, though. Yeah, that was a bigger fish. That's bigger than the, the last that's, few. That's respectable now. Yeah. <laughs> that's respectable compared to the last few. Yeah. We've had a lot of... How many ones? There you go. Bandito bug, huh? Okay. I like this. How many tens do you think you've caught in your life? You know, I kept 
fifth track at Santee when I was there, and I had 53 out of, out of or 52, I mean, out of Santee, but that was back in the 60s. And then, <laughs> and then, then I had another whole bunch of them going down to Mexico, probably another 25 or so in Mexico. Then when I started fishing Rodman, boy, that was another big bunch of 10-pounders, uh, probably another 25 bass over 10 pounds and fishing uh, Kerr and he would go out in the, in the spawning season back in the 70s and uh, find, uh, uh, you know, bed bass and, you know, get up a step ladder and stuff. That was a, that was a big deal. Then, uh, that was a couple dozen fish. Then at Okeechobee, it got to be, there was another couple dozen fish more than that at Okeechobee that we had for, uh, I'd say I'd, I'd probably caught at least 50 at Okeechobee over five, over 10. I had three one day over 10 at Okeechobee. But, uh, the best I figured, Doug Hannon used to brag about 300 bass over 10 pounds. That's what Doug Hannon used to brag about. I can't brag about 300. I can brag about about 200. That's about 200, maybe 200 at the most. That, that's 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 a lot. Yeah, but that's you know 60 years of fishing and some of the, when Rodman was hot, when Bacharach was hot. God, we caught a lot of fish out of Bacharach. In one in a two day period, we had 10 we had 10 over we had 10 over 10 one time. We had 121 pounds on camera. We had 121 pounds of, of fish, and we had a tournament, and Jimmy weighs in two 12-pounders, and there's like 10 teams, he weighs in two 12-pounders, and he came in last place. Oh, wow. <laughs> and I think that we had to weigh in 10 fish, and I think our 10 fish weighed, uh, let's see, our 10, our 10 fish weighed 91 pounds, we came in second. Gary's 10 fish weighed uh, 97 pounds, I think it was. Oh man! And then, and then, uh, and then Jimmy's 10 fish weighed like 65 pounds because he did he had those two twelves, and then he was about all he had. You know what I mean? Oh my God! You see that? That's a f***ing big needlefish. Really? Yeah. I didn't know they attacked lures. Did you? I yeah, saw the needle fish jump out of the water. How we got? Big in? Yeah, How big you think? We talking like another double digit to your name? <laughs> GoPro is the, is the camera. Oh my God! It's a tilapia. Oh shit. You stuck the top of a tilapia. <laughs> it was a giant tilapia. That would have added another ten pound to your list. Yeah. It would. <laughs> you don't see that too often. God, that probably felt like a mega fish then. Oh God, it's so good. What are the chances of you just reeling past and hitting a tilapia perfectly in the back? And then, and then hooking it and then, at the same time. Yeah, that's pretty good. You hit it right in the fin, the top fin. That's a cool oh, thing. Now, <laughs> another one on the old bug though. Yeah. Damn, man. This could be a female, smaller female, big body. Oh, wrong size, right species. I don't know. I don't know if he's even on anymore. I don't think so. Nope. I think he's probably done this. Uh, Run rattle traps and hook those grass harp, you know, by, you know, yeah. by accident. I don't know what he did. Yeah. It's like Kentucky Lake, places, you know, where there's a lot of grass garden. And some of them are, you know, 20, 30 pounds. And there's some in Okeechobee. And every once in a while, you throw in a rattle trap out there, you'll I'll hook a couple of them, that are, you know, 20 pounders and stuff. And they take off the boys. You know it's not a bass after a few seconds. 
I got, yeah, I had to go to the hospital actually because of one came off its back, it hit me in the face, and I had two treble hooks stuck past the barb in my jaw. Yeah. That was a bad deal. Came off a grass carp, it was a rattle trap, came off the back of a grass carp and hit me in the face. Yeah. Well, it's kind of funny. I'm really shocked you're not catching anything on a chatterbait. There's one. Nope. God bless. They are really on these really on these isolated them. pad clumps. Do you think there's big fish in there? Too? Oh, I 100% believe there's big fish in there. We just haven't stumbled a crumb. There's got to be a big one somewhere. Especially if they're, if I'm, if I'm getting bit almost on every single one of these over here. This side's got to be better though. You see me like different yeah, there's some good ones, yeah. pockets of them. <sighs> you know, this is better than not catching, I guess, huh? Yeah. Could be worse. You've been doing this for 60 years. Well, this lake. This lake has some big fish in it. I'm telling you, it's just, it's, I don't know that there's a lake in the area that's got as many really quality fish. Well, it's got some. Nope, but God bless every single one of these pads. It's almost like first cast yeah. is a bass right now. Yeah. Damn. Uh, we're going to run across a big one. You think that sooner or later, with 40 or 50 fish being caught, you get a big one? No, nah, we will. I mean, it's just kind of crazy. Now that these isolated ones over here, they're just like, they're in them. That's a good one. Oh my god. You know he's out there. <laughs> Isn't that goofy? <laughs> Every single one of these isolated clumps is something. They're not, they're not big. But you know what I think? I think there's a big female on half of these, these clumps that just aren't biting. Don't so. I, mean, I don't know right now. <laughs> there's got to be something. Where else would they be? I don't know how many fish we've caught in the last. 20 minutes, you know, just doing this. Yeah, he doink, 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 doink. Caught, I don't know, 20 that way, haven't you? The exact, yeah, just that's yeah. it. Doink, 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 doink. Really good. I only caught a couple on the chat rate, but that's because uh, I'm not doing the problem. You're just being stubborn. Oh my god. Big one? Oh no, Roland, are you kidding me? How big was it? Big enough to do that. Sever. There Absolutely severed me. No oh no. <laughs> I don't know. We're gonna pretend like it was a mudfish or something. Jeez. Oh, oh my. Pound braid? Yeah, straight snap 65 pound braid. Jeez. Wow. Yeah, look I felt look, look at all these holes here. <laughs> this, this, this is a neat shit. <laughs> oh man, straight severed me. There's one. Yeah. Yep. You got a good one, Tom. You got a good one. Hey, that's got a good one. Oh my god, there's one. A little bit better, huh? I went to the flip and stick and Rob set me up with an oh, nice uh <laughs> bug. And I'm ready to ready to go catch one. I need you to catch a giant. I just broke off on a billion. I know you did. There's it's kind of crazy if you look, there's like 
I mean, there's literally probably four or five hundred things to flip from here, just oh. there, just a hundred yards. <laughs> there, the fish are almost everywhere. I feel like there's, yeah, I feel like there's. In this heavy grass, look, there's a nice open hole. That's just a perfect spawning spot for a fish. And that's where you caught that last one. Yeah, yeah, right there. Oh my God. Please tell me you're still pinned. That was a big one. It's not pinned. Oh my God. It, all it did was expose me. I flipped in there and I started reeling it through. Damn. What's your biggest bass? 14. There he is. That one. 14. How many, how many over 13 have you caught? And you've, about maybe six. You've got six over thirteen. Five, God bless. Five, maybe five. Five I over thirteen. A, I caught a thirteen and a half. It was the, the day that we were in Mexico that one time we were filming. I had a thirteen and a half. It was my biggest fish ever. And so we put the cameras away. It was late in the afternoon. And we were all talking about the great string we'd had that day because we had some other big fish. And I said, man, I finally caught this giant thirteen pounder. And then as the cameras were away. That's when I caught the 14 and a quarter, right, you know, and then it was just so dark that we could barely see anything. And we got, the, we got the cameras rack out just to do a little close after the close. Yeah. You know, it was a little bigger fish. And that was a 14 and a quarter. So I caught the 13 and a half and 14 and a quarter back to back. That's crazy. <laughs> That's nuts. This was back in 75 or so. Oh, okay. Was that when so, you guys still literally brought them in on like stringers? That was, it was a lot. It was a 10 bass limit. No, I'm talking about like, did you bring it in on the string, stringer? They no, weren't no, alive. No, no, not then. We had oh, live okay. wells. Oh, okay. So anyway, I thought I'd won the tournament because I was already way up in the lead and I had about 50 pounds with, with 10. And I got into lacking this guy, Larry, uh, what the hell was his name? He had 10 that weighed 67. Oh, wow. Yeah, 10, that was, that was that's, a lot of fish. Yeah, that's, so a, six, that's a lot of weight. 67 is that's a good day. That's a lot. Well, figure 10 that weighed 67, that's. Six that's, and a half. That, yeah, yeah, that's two thirty-five pound stringers on yeah. <laughs> together. Yeah, that's pretty dang good. Yeah. I didn't. I was still about third or fourth or something. That's kind of crazy if you think about it. But that was when it was hot. That was the hottest lake in Florida there for a while. Well, Robin. Robin was. And, I, and at the time, I, at the same time, I took my father-in-law, Marianne's uh, father. I took him fishing one day. And I made a long cast with a with a E step plug. It's like a big O. Okay. To a log over all these logs floating out there in the middle of, of uh, Rodman. And I got backlash, a big giant backlash, and I'm, I'm pulling it out. I got line all over the place. And a 12 and a half pounder comes up and sucks my damn top, my <laughs> cut feet down. And I see it. I'm handling. I'm trying to handland the damn thing. I can't. Finally, I reel it some and all, and I get it up to the net. And and. <laughs> He goes and net it. Well, he gets the fish on the wrong side of the net. No, you know, you know how I mean. <laughs> the, the plug is it's caught on the back side of the net, and the and the big twelve pounder is on the back side. And I said, Paul, drop the net. Let the net go. He said, he said it's on the net. I said, let the net go. And he let the net go, and it swam around with the net until I finally just hand landed him. You know, but it was a twelve and a half pounder. It was the biggest one I'd I'd caught up to the time I went to Mexico. You know. <laughs> All over a mistake, backlash. What's the craziest shit you saw in Florida in the 80s? The craziest thing? Yeah. Uh, uh. Florida in the 80s had to be insane. It was pretty good. I, I tell you that damn, this, but the best string I ever got was. You know when they they, they launched when when the uh, when the space shuttle blew up and the, and all those people were killed yeah a long, a long time ago well it was that weekend it was a real cold front big big weekend and this guy Brian McDaniel's he was a guy from Tulsa it was a guide guide party he came down right and I'd fished a big tournament the day that that day the shuttle blew up and I was with Dave Dave Gleeby the famous fisherman was my partner that day anyway we did fair but. Point is, it was after that tournament. It was all cold. The water was about that 45 degrees, real cold, and uh, we didn't catch for a couple days. And finally, the afternoon before that big string, I was with Brian, 
and we're drifting along the, the, the monkey box area and I came across this one one little hole in the, in the hydrilla and we threw a shot her and we got this one big bass, the first big, only big bass we caught that day, it, it was eight, eight something. And I said, Brian, I said, it's supposed to be real warm tonight and the water temperature might come up a couple more degrees. There might be some more fish out here in the morning. We marked the spot, you know, we came back at dawn and we had a bunch of shiners. Jesus Christ, were they ever in there? That was the best, that was the most big bass I ever saw. We ran out of shiners, but anyway, we caught, we caught an 11 and a half. Yeah, Brian, I let him catch a lot of them. I caught a couple of them. We caught an 11 and a half, a 10 and a half, a 10. I had seven, I had seven that weighed 67 pounds. Seven that weighed 67. How did you mark spots back then? Well, we had Loran. That was kind of helpful. Loran wasn't very good, but maybe cross triangulation, you know, get, you know, this point by that point and all that kind of shit. But yeah, I had a lot of Loran. I had Loran. I, I had Loran early on, right? I had Loran then. I sincerely believe I just filmed an entire video without picking up this camera for the first time in a very, very long time. But if you guys want to come out and fish with Roland Martin down here in Florida, you guys can. I believe his website is Roland Martin Fishing or Fishing with Roland Martin. I said at the very beginning, I just put it on screen right there. I will link it in the description as well. If you guys like to come down here and fish with the legend, you guys can. Hey, he's down here and you can shine or fish or you guys can fish uh, just, I don't know, artificials. Come down here and fish with him. You guys in like four different Hall of Fames, by the way. Just want to throw that out there.